ओके वेलकम बैक चिल्ड्रन लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर चैप्टर एटीन अवर इंडस्ट्रीज इन द प्रीवियस सेशन आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द ग्रुप ऑफ डिविजन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज बेस्ड ऑन वर्कर्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री एंड लार्ज स्केल इंडस्ट्री नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दैट इज अवर नंबर टू according to raw material when we divide our industries according to raw material we are divided into two parts number 1 is agriculture based and number 2 is mineral based so today we are going to do only agro based industries agro based means when we get the raw material from agriculture okay now here some of the examples of the agro based industries are cotton textile industry cotton textile industry means we get the raw material as cotton from agriculture okay sugar cane industry where we get the fine sugar or jaggery which we are using we are eating okay jaggery means goat in gujarati goat now so sugar cane we are getting from the agriculture jute industry jute industries means jute we get always on the river side okay then jute also we are getting from the agriculture woolen industries wool we get from sheep you know in the agriculture we are having like livestock also livestock means which uh, domestication of the animals where the sheep is also animal which from where we get the wool now silk industry for the silk industry we get the silk from the silk worms so all these raw materials to run these types of industries we get the raw material from agriculture when we get the raw material from agriculture to run our industries we know uh, we uh, tell those types of industries as agro based industries understood this much the first thing is what is the meaning of agro based agro based means when we get the raw material from the agriculture products and then that raw material we turn into the fine products in the industries through the machineries through the technology and those types of industries are known as agro based now if i move on to first cotton textile industry first cotton textile industry was established in mumbai in 1854 and if you open your books now see agro based industries if i show you like this see agro based industries now cotton is it is india's largest and oldest agro based industry cotton industry is the india's largest and oldest industry and first industry cotton textile industry was established in mumbai in 1854 where over 15 lakh people work in the country so more about 15 lakh people are working in the cotton textile industries now the first textile mill was set up in mumbai in 9, in 1854 i told you now among leading textile producing states are gujarat maharashtra tamil nadu and west bengal so we can get the find the to, uh, cotton textile industries in gujarat maharashtra tamil nadu and west bengal now mumbai located near cotton growing regions underline this sentence mumbai located near cotton growing industries has the highest number of cotton textile mills in india ahmedabad ahmedabad is another important city for cotton textiles there are also big textile mills in sholapur coimbatore madurai chennai and delhi please underline these names of the places where we can find the cotton textile industry and number 1 name of the city is mumbai and on number 2 is ahmedabad and then other places are also coming where we can find the cotton textile industries and over 15 lakh people are working in the cotton textile industries all over the india got it now number 2 sugar cane industry sugar cane industry is the largest producer in the world sugar cane industry sugar is it is the largest producer in the world india is the largest producer of the sugar in the world okay 
So please underline in your textbook again and again I am telling you keep on opening your books and underline it as whenever I am telling you. India is considered as the largest producer of sugar in the world. In India sugar cane industry employs about 45 million people. Now here 15 lakh people are working. Here 45 million people are working or engaged with the sugar cane industry. Understood? Now then after that First sugar, how we can get the sugar from the sugar cane? First sugar cane is crushed in the big machines to get its juice. Okay, you also love to drink the sugar cane juice. Okay, sherdi ka ras pite ho na? Acha lagta hai, meetha meetha tasty. Usme lemon thoda sa squeeze karke aur black salt and black pepper dalke. Okay, Where, at this time of the sugar cane season, you can find at many places um, those uh, people they uh, uh, put their uh, small small machines to take out the juice, okay, sugar cane juice, and people love to drink it. Maybe you also like, okay, really it's very tasty. Now, the juice is then turned into sugar, then they turn that juice into sugar and they make from that juice good and consult. Good is the another name of jaggery. Major sugar producing states are which states are the sugar producing states or we can find the industries over there. They are Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu are the major states of sugar producer industries. Then we are having jute industry. For the jute industry, now jute is mostly cultivated on the riverside. Okay. And mainly where we cultivate on the riverside of Ganga and Brahmaputra. And Ganga and Brahmaputra river, where they are, they are flowing in West Bengal. So most of the production of the jute industry we can find in West Bengal. Understood? Now see here, jute is mostly cultivated in Brahmaputra in West Bengal. Therefore, West Bengal leads in jute industry. Most of the jute mills are located in and around Kolkata. Why? Because they easily get the raw material from there and they can produce the uh, different jute productions from that jute. Some jute mills are also located in Andhra Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh also because they are also neighboring states of West Bengal and Ganga also flows from there. Now the products of the jute industry are what we make in, uh, in the industries from the raw material of jute underline this gunny bags, carry bags, carpets, dress materials. Whenever some craft bazaars are there Abhi, uh, you can see in your cities also, in Anand also, you can see the craft bazaar. When we go in the craft bazaar, you can see the jute, jute bags over there. Or bottle ke carry bags hain, jute bags hain, jute purses, wall hanging, so many things. They are make, made from jute. Jute is a raw material that we cultivate uh, on the river sides. Okay. So, the biggest producer of the jute industry is West Bengal. Other states are Uttar Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh. Understood? Now, then we will move to woolen industry. For the woolen industries, to establish woolen industries, to run the woolen industries, we need wool. Now, winters are going on. In winters, everybody wants to cover themselves by the woolen clothes. Kaha se aate hai woolen clothes? Wool kaha se aati hai? Sheep se. Sheep is an animal which is also related to the agriculture with the livestock. Now you can see here the raw material of woolen products is wool that is produced by sheep. Underline this sentence. Woolen garment factories are mostly located in the northern states in Punjab and Haryana. The major centers of woolen industries are in, are in Dhariwal, Amritsar and Ludhiana. These are the important places of Punjab where they are having the big woolen industries where they produce the woolen garments in the factories. 
ओके विच आर द प्लेसेस धारीवाल अमृतसर एंड लुधियाना दे आर इन पंजाब नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द लास्ट इंडस्ट्री ऑफ द एग्रो बेस दैट इज सिल्क इंडस्ट्री नाउ सिल्क टेक्सटाइल द इंडियन सिल्क इज फेमस ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड the raw material for making silk is raw silk that is obtained from the cocoon made by silk worms maybe you studied in science also silk textile units are located in the cities of bengaluru mysore kanchipuram coimbatore surat also then murshidabad varanasi and bhagalpur mainly in the south okay so underline these name of the cities where we have the silk industry silk textile industry and indian silk is famous all over the world and the raw material of the silk we get from the cocoon made by the silk worms i hope you understood the agro based industries why they are known as agro based industries and which type of raw material we are using and we run our industries understood okay so in the next session i will explain you about the mineral based industries till then please read the lesson up to agro based industries and whatever sentences i told you to underline please underline those sentences properly okay thank you